Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how to install Manley, how to cite references, how to cite from web and how to change reference style and how to edit citations. So let's get started. Just I'm going to type in here Manley and Manley for desktop. So once you click Manley on desktop, you will have this options for Windows. But if you're using a Mac, you can also use a Mac option over here. So I'm just going to click on Windows because I'm using Windows. Okay, now once you're over here, you can see that you can click simply click here, download Mendeley desktop for Windows. I've already downloaded it before, so I'm not going to do that anymore now. You can click on keep and it will automatically start to run. Okay, so once it's done, you can click on this one and it will start running and it will operate and it will automatically install the software. So for example, in this current case, I'm currently using Microsoft PowerPoint for recording this video. So I'm, I will not be able to install it. And also because I've already installed, I cannot do it. So you just follow these steps. And once you do this, you can click on install and it will start installing. Okay. So that's the first step. Once you're done with this one, you can, I'm just going to cancel this one. Once you are done with this one, you need to register now for free. So this is the registration options. So you can only log into Mendeley if you're registered. So click on register now, and then you are going to go into a new window. Now, first of all here, I'm just going to add a sample email here, which I'm just going to use as a reference and click on continue. Then it is going to ask my name, my family name, and then I'm going to add a certain password. So once you click over here, it will show you the strength of the password and you can easily make that. So I'm currently going to write something and let's see if it works or not. So once you are done, you can click over here and as you can see, your password is done. Click on register and it will make an account for you. So now if you want, you can save it. If you don't want, you don't, you cannot save it. You should, if you don't want, you don't have to save it. Now, if I click on continue to Mendeley, it will log in my account over here. But before that, I'm going to show you something over here. So this is my current account. I'm just going to log out from here and I'm going to show you something new. So first of all, I'm going to go and file. I'm going to sign out from here and then it will show me something like this. I'm going to open my own account and I think it needs a verification. So might be a long step. So I'm just going to work on my own account. And let's see, Wait once you click, it will going to, it will open an account for you. And you can see that these are all the files that I currently have, but I'm just going to show you uh, simple files. So I'm not going to show you a lot of them. And let's just go with a little bit. So for example, these are my files, which I've already added in the Mendeley uh Mendeley how to say Mendeley documents so if you want to add a new document you can just simply drag a document for example I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller here and I'm going to show you split the screens in two parts like this for example I'm just going to increase this size like this I'm going to open another one which is this one and simply I'm going to do something like this and I'm going to show you how you can drag a file for example this is a Mendeley and you can make different folders for example now what I'm going to do is I'm just quickly going to add this file over here and we'll place over here. You can see that there's a new option which is says copy. Once you remove and it will automatically copy here. Now you can see if I click on different files, they will show you all the details for those files. Now if you see over here, Ulberg, you can see that there's an option called, there's a name, there's a title for the author, first name and the last name. So the way it is being appearing right now, first as initial and then last name as initial first and then comes the uh, first name. Then the journal year, volume, member pages, abstract and all that. Also, you can see that this is a journal article. So it is classified as a journal article. So if you change that one, uh, it will change the category also. Okay, so this is the one part. So what if you want to add a citation to Word? How do you, how can you do that? So now when you go into tools option, you will have different options, which is known as install web importer and inst uninstall Microsoft Word plugin. It shows uninstall because I've already installed the Microsoft Word plugin. So I will just quickly go through over there. So I will also come back to the install web importer later. So first of all, I'm just going to work with a small example. Okay, so let's say this is our uh, paper and let's say uh, title of the paper. <laughs> I'm just going to write one sample text so that we don't have to worry a lot about it. So we can say that in paper, in some paper, let's say I'm going to add something, uh, some reference in paper, the author discussed, etc. something like that. So what I'm going to do is now you can see that there is an option called uh, insert citation in the reference section. So if we are in the home, then once you go in the reference section, you can easily see that. Before that, once you go in tools, you need to install the Microsoft Word plugin before. So once you are done with that, 
what will happen is it will take you can automatically see the insert citation option over here so once you click over here insert citation now it allows you to search the paper by the name or by the author or by anything else for example i wanted a paper which somehow looks like this i'm just going to show you the example let's say the word have different options the words have different options which includes modeling advanced alkaline electrolyzers and also the name ulberg what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how many different ways you can add or uh, add a citation in this one by remembering just the name for example the most common one is by remembering the name of the author so for example uh, in this case the name of the author was ulberg and 2003 so once you click on this one it will automatically add a citation here let's say number one now if you want to add one more citation let's say number two i'm just going to write ulberg again and let's say i'm just going to take some uh, sample paper let's say this one i'm going to click over here and it will sh show something like this now these two references are separate now notice one thing they are separate right now but when i select them it gives me the option to merge the citation so when your references are consecutive like one two or any number which are consecutive what you can do is you can select them and click on merge citation so once you click on merge citation it will automatically show you like this now there's other option that what you can do is you can change them into different format for example if i triple e say that you need to have uh, one and two like this then it will automatically show you like this so it has different journals that you can see and once you see over here you can see how you can make it according to their own style so if you say i want to use this energy conversion management style you just click over here and it will show you something like this let's say if you are going to edit manually and you're going to say something like this it will also ask you and prompt you do you want to keep the manual edit if you say yes then it will keep the edit like this okay but if you refresh it and if you want to edit citation again let's say if you are clicking over here and it doesn't show something so let's say insert citation let's just undo this one before and let's say this is something like this and now you can see that there are two citations like this and if you want to edit the citation you can easily do that for example i don't want this one i'm going to remove it i'm going to say that i want something some other citation so, so some other paper i'm just going to click on this one and it will automatically automatically come over here so this is one way to add a citation okay so now this is an easy way to do citation what if that you are studying something online once we open the google scholar i'm just going to say hydrogen modeling this is the subject that i'm studying so i'm just going to click over here now it has different options now what i told you before that if you can install mendeley uh, web importer which i already have so here you can see there is a sign for mendeley web importer so if you click over here it will ask you to sign in again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sign in here again and you don't have to worry about anything and you can easily do that so once i sign in all the documents that are appearing here have PDF. They will be shown over here very easy and simply. So now it's just loading the number of documents that are being uh, that are available on this current screen, and it will show you how it looks like. Okay, there we go. So now you can see this comprehensive modeling study of hydrogen oxidation. It currently is coming over here, and once you click over here, it will give you an option. Okay, where do you want to add? So for example, I have my own library. So if I click on my library and if I click on add. It will automatically add this paper into Mendeley. But before that, once you go in the Mendeley, you need to press this sync button. So once you click on this sync button, it will automatically come into the documents. And you can see this green light. It shows that it is retrieving the documents from online and it is automatically going to add the document here. So let's just say I want to check a comprehensive modeling study of hydrogen oxidation. I'm just going to search it here. Hydrogen modeling comprehensive okay so here we go so a comprehensive modeling study of hydrogen oxidation is added now before you add new paper it is going to ask you is are these details correct so if you are sure about these details if you know about these details you can just simply click here and say details are correct and this paper is automatically going to be added in your Mendeley for Mendeley uh, Mendeley let's say workspace so this is how you can add a citation into Microsoft Word. Okay, now if you want to, now we have covered three, uh, all these things which includes installing Mendeley, citing references, cite from web, change reference style and edit citation. Really easy and simple to do. And uh, 
if you have a lot of consecutive citations and if you want to have a different citation what you can do is for example go into the styles and here's an option for get more styles if you click here let's say i want a citation from nature journal and if i click on nature it says automatically install let's say journal of nature nature Con uh, conservation if i click on install it will show you install then go back to your install version and it will show you journal of nature Journal of Nature Conservation, which I just installed. Just click here, use this style, click on done, and it will automatically do like this. So now last part comes the references. So let's click here references. I'm going to make a certain uh, heading. Then you have an option here, insert bibliography. Once you click here, your references are going to automatically come here. Okay, so this is how you add and use Mendeley in really easy and simple steps. I'm just going to reduce the size because it doesn't look too good over here to me. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and we'll show you how it looks like. So guys, let's move back to the PowerPoint slide and uh, let's conclude here. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. And if you learned how to install Mendeley side references, do let me know in comment down section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.